many major roads underwater tonight, thank yeah, goodness. That is good news, and the drainage bumps so far really keeping up with the demand. Some of that involves advanced planning, and in the case of Drainage District 7, actually advanced pumping. That's right, 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson is live tonight to explain what is being done. Kelsey? Well, during heavy rain like what we've seen today, pump stations, they get a real workout. They're busy moving water from drainage and ditches to keep your neighborhoods from flooding. Drainage District 7 is actually working on a new annex right now on its largest pump station to improve things even more. The pumps are on and systems are checked each hour during heavy rainfall events. Ronnie Hollier is a supervisor for Drainage District 7. He says all 20 pump stations are currently running and manned. Fuel tanks are topped off in case the power goes out. We also uh, have an agreement with local vendors, and we have done it for this event here is we'll place additional fuel trucks at selective stations. DD7 is currently working on a new annex to its largest pump station at Alligator Bayou off Highway 87 in Port Arthur. The annex will eventually add an extra $1.5 million gallon pumping system. The project is expected to be completed by the end of 2019. And it basically pumps uh, pretty much all of this area. DD7 has several different departments. One handles the maintenance at the pump stations, one that maintains the ditches, and another that inspects the hurricane levees. These are all monitored year round. You can do your part too. Before the next heavy rain, make sure your ditches are clear so the water can flow. We have to get water to our pump station. Our, each pump station has to have a certain amount of water in the four bay in order for our pumps to run. DD7 handles Mid-County and Port Arthur. And to find out if you're a part of their drainage system, visit DD7.org. Live in Mid-County, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.